we are strengthened in this assumption that the earliest Europeans were not only long-headed but also dark-complexioned by various points in our inquiry thus far. We have proved the prehistoric antiquity of the living Cro-Magnon type in southwestern France, and we saw that among these peasants, the prevalence of black hair and eyes is very striking. In comparing types in the British Isles, we saw that everything tended to show that the brunette populations of Wales, Ireland, and Scotland constituted the most primitive stratum of population in Britain. Furthermore, in that curious spot in Gard Fagnana, where a survival of the ancient Ligurian population of northern Italy is indicated, there are also are the people characteristically dark. Judged therefore either in light of general principles or of local details, it would seem as if this earliest race of Europe must have been very dark. It was Mediterranean in its pigmental affinities and not Scandinavian.